All right, everybody. So uh, today I'm going to spend some time driving around in the heart of the Mississippi Delta, far, far away from any freeways. So uh, strap yourselves in. Be ready to see some really interesting sights because um, this is a fascinating part of our country. Okay, I am in Greenwood, Mississippi. So I'm entering downtown. This is actually a pretty good size downtown. It's just completely empty. This must have been a pretty big city at one time. But you see it now, wow. dead zone. something in it wow I'm in a little town called Marigold right now. Population 379. Very small little burg here. Alright, I am in the city of Mound Bayou now, a few miles up the road from Marigold. It's got a population of about uh, 1,700 people, so it's a little bigger. 
but it's still quite small. <laughs> Very much off the beaten path. Looks like they plan on uh, renovating this at some point. Says it's the Montgomery home. Believe it or not, this is Main Street in this town. Yeah, Main Avenue. And then this is Green Street. I believe City Hall is over here. Yeah. Mound Bayou City Hall. All right, I'm in the town of Shelby now. Just outside of downtown. Basically, I'm just turning around and I came into this area of the city. It's residential. Looks like that house uh, burned down. And, well, maybe this one too. Shelby has a population of 1,666. So this is downtown up here. Take a quick drive through it. Yeah, you can see it's uh it's a bit of an old town. <laughs> this looks like the main street right here. something in it. Wow. If you look over in this direction. And that's pretty much it. Alright, I'm in Rosedale now. we can see Wow, we've got a stop sign here in the middle of nowhere, Mississippi. All right, this is the town of Shaw. Shaw, Mississippi. This is the downtown of Shaw, and this is it. A little bit of artwork there. It's uh, almost a ghost town, isn't it?
one parked car. <laughs> wow. Field Memorial Library. And well, there's an ATM, a bank there that operates. Some of the homes across this uh, little creek here, though, are actually quite lovely. Really nice. All right, I'm in uh, Indianola right now. Big old mansion there, huh? This is a city of some contrast, though. Yeah, you'll see in a minute. It's about 9,200 people here in Indianola and I'm heading into downtown right now all right I am uh, entering downtown Indianola right now it's really interesting looking things that strikes you driving through the town is uh, all the American flags yeah they're everywhere I'm gonna drive into uh, a nearby neighborhood here in just a second Alright, I'm driving into the city of Moorhead. Um, this is a very poor town. The poverty rate here is an astonishing 50.1% of the people that live here. That means fully one half of the people who live in this town live at or below the US poverty rate. Keep in mind the uh, overall average in the US is 11, a little over 11%. So I'm driving into the town now. All right, I'm gonna head into the city center now. And this is pretty much it. It's not a big city, about 15, 1600 people, I believe. I'll just take a quick drive through, come back on the other side. Actually, I'll just turn right here.
pretty nice looking mural there. Chula, Mississippi. I am entering the town now. This is widely regarded to be the poorest community in the entire United States. The uh, poverty rate here is an astonishing 54.1%. The uh, average per capita income of the people who live here is $8,900 a year. $8,900 a year. That's what the average person lives on in this town. Chula, Mississippi. The uh, median household income is $24,700. So the average, I guess, family or household is uh, lives on twenty four thousand dollars a year that is I don't have to tell you <laughs> it's hard to imagine anybody trying to live on that any family any house so uh, anyway I'm just gonna do a bit of a drive-through not much uh, go into the town and see what it looks like I'm seeing it for the first time myself. Um, yeah, this is downtown Chula so I'll just do a quick drive through yeah this is it it's a very small town about uh, 1900 people place is kind of forgotten, you know? Welcome Chula, Mississippi. Yeah, I'm going to take another drive through. A lot of the town is situated along the river here. It's actually quite nice. I think you can see it uh, through the uh, trees. All right, I'm gonna head back into town for another pass. sold there. <laughs> yep, somebody trying to call me.
Um, yeah, not a whole lot to see here. It's just, just a very poor town. place the rest of the world has forgotten <laughs> that's for sure the city is uh, losing population steadily you know you pretty much know what's happening there kids who grew up here that finish uh, high school go to college they don't come back and so the city is slowly dying In 20 years, it'll most likely be a ghost town. It almost is one now. And there's the post office. Anyway. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I mostly just uh, went through um, towns here in the middle of the Delta. I know there's some places down south. Uh, that'll be another video but um, yeah this will do for here we are going to head to Tupelo next Tupelo Mississippi birthplace of Elvis Presley so uh, be looking for that video we'll see you then